What's up besties? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to another video. Besties, all right, so I am here about to do a vision board. I have my board right here, and yes, I'm a little late, but I'm still in the month of January, and honestly, what is timing when it compares to God, okay? I could I could start over whenever I feel like it. I've had these things in mind, but I decided to put them on paper. So I printed out a bunch of images from Pinterest, and I'm about to cut them out and put them on my board. So stay tuned so y'all can see the final result, result of my vision board. This is more than just a vision board, besties. To me, this is a prayer, knowing that I don't have to allow fear to keep me from getting what I want. I want to get honest about what I actually want to obtain and then go after it um, because I know that God has enabled me to do so. There's a song we used to sing called Write the Vision based on Habakkuk 2. And I believe that I can have whatsoever I want. Um, honestly, I have decided to go back into the workforce after four years of straight up entrepreneurship. And I'm excited about this journey. So we're going to see. We're going to see what God has in store for me. I know it's amazing. And um, have you all done vision boards? Y'all feel like I'm too late? Let me know y'all business down below. All right, besties, here is my finished board. I do think that I want to go back and just print out some words and put them in the blank spaces. But this is the gist of what I want to have. I don't want to put in a whole lot, a whole lot of, but this is the gist. So I'm going to go around and show y'all um, my board, everything that I have and the meaning of it. And also, I have a digital version that I created um, that I'm going to post on the screen as well. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to start up here with this corner. I have my uh, pink passport. Now, this is a passport cover. I already have a passport, but I'm, this is here because I want to travel more and I do need a cover for my passport anyway. So yeah, here um, we have a black woman. I wanted to make sure that all the images were black women because I want to see something that represents myself. So we have uh, a black woman laying on focus. She has the flowers here, which to me is almost a symbol of romance. She got food, so you know I'm on the health journey. Her coffee or tea, her energy, her planner, and her laptop. So that's all the stuff that I basically need to focus on. Here, this is a young lady having breakfast in bed. This doesn't mean anything to me except luxury so i really want to have a um you know my own luxury apartment or maybe a condo so yeah that was another thing all right here uh we have a ysl bag um and you literally only see one bag you see whatever this is it look like purse um a uh, purse jewel or whatever and that's Louis Vuitton. You got a lipstick and um, water and a drink. To me, this is like a self-care thing. So, um, but also wanting to add the inference on luxury. Um, it's not so much about the labels. It's about me not being afraid to drop the bag on myself. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Y'all, we went in at 2023 and I just feel like I need to plan for it. All right, in the middle, this is what matters to me the most. The middle, okay? We got balance here because I need that. Like, I am not the best with balancing. And because I am, and I'm, I'm kind of shifting my brand and shifting myself. God has me in a transition period. And so because of this, uh, I have to learn how to balance, right? So balance being that girl that I know that I am and also that woman that God has called me to be. 
I feel like he's called me to be that girl, to have the luxury and all that other type of stuff. Um, and not because other people have it, but genuinely because that's what I desire. Um, but he's also called me to preach the gospel. So it's the dichotomy of these two existence that I haven't seen in other people, um, not the way that I wanna see it, and but that I know he's putting me to have. So it's that, that girl, the entrepreneur, the um, the one who takes the trips, and uh, the one who uh, probably has love and has great friendships and money and balances all the things, but also carries the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, um, yeah, y'all, God has shifted me, and I'm I'm along for the ride. I don't know how exactly this is happening, but I feel a shift in my spirit. Have y'all ever felt that before? Like, I know God is taking me somewhere and I'm going to get there, but this transition, I don't know what we're doing, but I'm along for the ride. That's me right now. All right, so we got the Bible here because devotional time is important, and I want to make sure that I am more intentional about my devotional time. I want to be more intentional. Yes, I read the scriptures, but I want to be very much more, more intentional about that. All right. And then we have a check here. This check is for $100,000 because, um, and it's from my ink. It says the memo is income and it's from God. And the reason why I wrote myself out this check is because this year, the year 2023, this is what I want the income to be. I want to make six figures this year. I believe by faith that I can do it now. That's just my income that has nothing to do with like, say I get this blessing or birthday money or da, 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 you know, income, job, um, my own businesses, etc. income. All right. Then up here, we have a young lady sitting on money and I think that is um, self-explanatory. <laughs> I don't want to have to worry about things. I don't. I don't want to be in a season of worry anymore. I did that. Um, I am praying and working towards my season of abundance. All right. And I love this because it says, and that's on self-love. If y'all see with the picture before, I don't know that someone bought her these things or she just got it. And I'm trying to work on my self-love journey that is not to be confused with desiring relationship those are two different love muscles but i want to strengthen on purpose strengthen my love my self-love journey so i'll be going on self-care dates and all those types of stuff, solo dates and all that i got the term solo date from maya galore which we'll talk about in a second all right next we have a young woman carrying a mug saying creative black woman and yeah y'all i want to drink my chai mind my business and write my books okay praise god all right next we have a youtube plaque now let's not be confused youtube plaques you get those when you get a hundred thousand subscribers can i do that in a year i don't know god can't do anything but fail um but i want to focus on my youtube channel growth and below that i have two youtubers who do similar um things that i am inspired by now i am inspired by several youtubers but where i am taking my channel I definitely want to focus heavily on blogging, my self-care, and, um, you know, my relationship with God. So, um, and then, of course, some story times here and there. So, two YouTubers that um, personify that for me are Gina Janine now, which is so funny because we live totally different lives. However, comma, she so inspires me. And she was born in Chicago, too. So, shout out to Gina. Love this outfit. I need to get into some two-speed sets. Okay, but also Maya Galore. Maya is a huge inspiration for me, especially when it comes to self-care. Maya introduced me to solo dates. I'm literally taking my first solo trip soon. And I don't know that Maya has done a solo trip, but the emphasis on the solo dates made me want to do a solo trip. And, you know, I know other YouTubers have done it as well, but Maya is a 
such a inspiration for me. She just got married, so shout out to her and her husband. But in her single journey, like she was really inspirational to me. So shout out to Maya. All right, then we got here a young lady, a black woman reading a book. And this actually represents for me my authorship. If you don't know, I am a best-selling author. And you can check the link down below and in the comments, the pinned comment for um, a link for my books. And so this year, I want to go even harder with my books. And I want to make Amazon overall best-selling list. Like, not just for my category, but overall. And that's going to take some work and connections and maybe an agent. But I believe God. Like, I believe God. I don't think there's anything that I can see with my eye that I can't have with my hand. I don't. So, I believe God. Y'all, we're going to get on their list this year. And I need y'all help to do so. All right, next. Ah! All right, next. So, this is a big deal for me because... Oh, wow. I've been saying I did not want to be married. And um, I think it's because of the hurt I've experienced, the certain people I've encountered. And honestly, let me just keep it a buck. A lot of these marriages be raggedy, raggedy. And I just felt like I, I'm not looking for perfection, but I am. I would desire somebody who's a decent human being. And from what I've been seeing out here in these streets, I don't be seeing these a human being. <laughs> I've been seeing, um, yeah, I don't want to make this a bashing session. So I want to be with someone who values me, values God, uh, and will value himself. And so I wanted to make sure that I hosted a black man with the Bible. Um, I need him with the Bible in his hand. Now, he got on a nice watch, nice rings. Now, we're going to excuse this because I don't want nobody that's married. I don't know if that's his left hand or not, but praise God. He got on three rings, so we're going to just say that's for jewelry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or we're going to say that's my ring that I got him. That's what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> and so, we got a black man here um, who is saved and sanctified. Amen. And we got this picture here because... I want, listen, this is what I want. <laughs> my feet be hurting sometimes. Rub my feet, man. I got rub my legs. So, yeah, this is the vision board, and I'm going to flash across the digital copy of it. And I have more images on the digital copy. So, yeah, y'all, this is it. Um, have y'all done y'all vision board? It is time to get the work on them. And honestly, it's never too late to do a vision board. Y'all literally can start over any moment, like any moment, whatever time you feel necessary to start over. If you mess up in February and you like, you know what? I need to get back on my horse. I need to get back on my A game. Who going to check you? That's really what I need to know. Who's going to check you? Nobody. So Y'all, just do your best. Be your best. Expect the best. And that's what I'm doing. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please share the video if you care. I would love to see your comments down below. Have you done a vision board? Do you see them as being fruitful? Um, are you doing uh, digital copies? Copies? Planning copies or what? Are you doing digital copies? printed copies what are you doing so yeah y'all let me know and thank you again for watching have a blessed day